Hey guys, part two of the antenna raising party. We went and bought us a hoist, man. It's been raining here for the last two days. We got the tower and everything up. As you see, the cable's going through all my pulleys. I, I don't have it rigged the way I want to get it rigged. We got the tower already leaning, and uh, didn't start letting it down. Um, the problem is uh, we've got something going on, and like I said in the last video. We didn't get this thing raised until the dark and like a dummy I didn't check the R's I didn't do any of that kind of stuff so we got some kind of issue going on the relay switch relay box for some reason is not tripping over I don't know why um, I got it to trip once got to the beam the beams R's were pretty good not bad but the Omni's definitely off I'm pretty sure it's some junk eyelets I stuck on it Saturday because I'd ran out of eyelets and we broke the eyelets on it and all I had was some uh, 16 gauge eyelets to really don't have no beef on them or meat or whatever you want to call it and I probably snapped another one of those but uh, that's what we're lowering it down for we're gonna see what uh, goes on plus we're gonna put this little winch through a test I picked it up down tractor supply it's a 4,500 pound winch eventually what I'd like to do is make a uh, dead man right behind the tower and then uh, go with it from there and maybe do away with all this cable that's going through the trees and shit but uh, we're lowering it down right now, so uh, let's see what happens, man. I got a ladder set up in the yard to be, uh, that's another thing I want to make. I want to make something like a carriage or something so this thing can sit in. I got another piece of uh, tower still left over. I might use that for a carriage. I don't know. But uh, going down is one thing. It's going up, so we're going to have to see how this thing does when we start going up. Uh, I might have to move my uh, pool cable a little bit, but... Uh, let me uh, turn this off for now. Y'all see it going down in action and guide this ladder. All right, guys. Kind of had a bad coax end on uh, the jumper that comes from the switch box up to the Omni. Um, the eyelet was kind of on its last piece of meat. I got those in the shop right now, but we ended up putting a new end on there. I uh, got it all rigged up. I'm not going to do nothing with the beam yet. Uh, we'll, we'll pick another day for that. I've got the switch box off of it. I'm going to go check that, make sure everything's good there. Found out the a BNC connector is not a good DC connection, so uh, I'm going to get a Molex connector for that. So we'll do that on the switch box. It wasn't switching the relay over right. So, uh, but uh, here we go. Everything's in action. Go ahead and start there, Mr. Bond's eye. And as you see, it's lifting it up. So the winch is going to work. Um, we were thinking about redoing the feed point or the uh, snatch point on the tower to get a better angle on it. But, uh, we were going to give this a try first and see how it does. But a 45 pound, uh, 4,500 pound winch. And she's going up. And he says it's, the motor's not getting warm, so that was, the, that was the thing that we were worried about. Boy, she's making some noise, though, the cable is. But it's supposed to be good for 4,500 pounds. Everything good? Cool. Not warmed up. Not warm. Not even warm. Still so, cool. Yeah. Still cool. Mm. All right, I'm gonna stop it here, and we'll just be back when we get in the air. All right, guys. He's almost there. Probably about a weekend, I'll drop it again and uh, check the beams and hopefully have the switch box done by then. But uh, she's going right up, man. I mean, it's only been a couple minutes since the last video. This thing ain't taking long at all to raise. But at least I got my Omni. I've got something. Something's better than nothing. He's trying to make sure it goes even on the uh, thing. So we've been backing it up and this and that. I guess because it's brand new. Bonsai wants to make sure it goes straight and even. Yeah, man. Thank you, Mustang. That's all I can say. Thanks for the idea about the winch. I never would have thought about it because there was no way I could drop this and pull it back up with the ground. We, we've had nothing but rain here the last two days. And as you see, I got a little small puddle here in front of my garage. But uh, there it is, man. And like I said, I'm going to fix the switch box and hook up the rotor control. And then we'll check the R's on the beam and uh, see how everything works out. Mm-hmm.
I got a few more other things to do. Still got to tighten up the guide cables. Like I said, it's been raining the last couple of days, so I haven't been out. But she's almost in place. She's almost there, man. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. I mean, that thing lifted it up with ease. Go all the way. I told you I didn't think you would. The lens pulled back too far. All right, we'll be back. Guys, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but that's what I got. I got a snatch block up there in between two of my trees. And that goes to the pool cable. All the way up to my tower. And then that, that cable goes right there. I don't know if y'all can make that out, but it goes over top of my shed to another tree with another snatch cable. And it ends up in that driveway over there. And that's how we do it. So, and it works. And as y'all seen with the winch, it pulled it right up with no problem. Alright guys, we'll see you. Bye, bye, bye. Alright guys, we're in the air. All I gotta do now is put my clevis and my back uh, cables on. And uh, we're done. So, at least now I got an Omni right now. We'll get the beam situated sometime this week. Once I get the rotor control hooked up and get the Molex connector. And uh, we're gonna go with it from there. Hope y'all enjoy. Antenna raising number two. We'll see you. Bye, bye, bye.